Good afternoon, guys. Owing to English language learning promotion, we have a novel which is entitled 30 Reasons Why and written by Jane Nature. Um, in order to make a promoting video, um, maybe we can talk about, well, seems all of us are holding different books. Are the plots the same? Oh, I see my version here was published by Penguin Random House in 2017. The story is all about a girl named Hannah who had committed suicide because of the bullying she was treated at school. She told the world the reasons leading to her death and what she had gone through in her life. She recorded 30 tapes about the tragic experience she had gone through and put them into the shoebox. Um, I remember she was given a nickname and rumored in class. But what's even, what's even worse is that she was raped by Bryce. That's unbelievable. Um, do this scenario ever happen in your versions? Yeah, they do. And I remember the novel is revealing the dark side of human nature, like a selfish character. For instance, like Tony, who wants to create a positive and innocent image by spreading rumors and gossips about Hannah so as to endure Hannah's reputation. And I said, who wants to have a relationship with Hannah, but she rejects, so he takes revenge on Hannah. Mm, this rumors and incident hurt Hannah so hard and it also made me feel uncomfortable and disgusted while I was reading. Yes, my person also includes these scenarios and actually I think uh, it is very uh, disgusting and close, uh, close that uh, Bryce read Hannah and well obviously we are holding the book with the same clause. Yes. Yes, by the way, guys, which part of the novel you like the most? Um, I do enjoy reading Fretty Reason Why due to Jay Asher depiction. I found his words and practical and efficient in create and in creating atmosphere. And none of his words are meaningless and excessive. Any idea? Well, I can't agree more. The story never runs out of runs out of stream and I can't help reading. Um I think the stories, the use of simultaneous narrative is eye-catching and also uh, the multiple first-person points of view is enriched the whole story. And without doubt, this book is a page turner and must read. Um, for example, in a plot that um, Kay I realized he should own part of their responsibility uh, leading to Hannah's death. Um, he start it and he start um, Asking himself questions several times, and he and after playing Hannah's tapes, and he even burst into tears. And the whole image showed me um, the struggle, uh, the struggle inside Kay's heart, and he really regretted not giving Hannah his hands. Um, you know what? When I read that part, um, I even cried with Kay together. Um, how powerful those gay words are. Uh, how do you feel, Kevin? Actually, I got the same feeling as you, and I think Hannah. Just listen, uh, listen, want to show her uh, weakness yeah. and be uh, listen. And in my opinion, the favorite part, my favorite part is that Kay listen to his own tapes. Uh, it's such an affecting and upsetting plot that I literally have tears in my eyes. And I think uh, it's a uh, very tense and sweet. Yeah, it's such a pity that Clay doesn't give a helping hand. But what is done is done. We cannot rewrite the past, right? What do you think, Kevin? Yes, besides, I find a novel uh, very kind, yes, as I mentioned. And uh, uh, yes, uh, I find the novel uh, very kind. And with the, with the uh, vivid depiction, and, which Henry yeah. just mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, the waiter, Jay Arthur, and successfully create uh, suspense in the reader's mind. Mm -hmm. And while I was reading, I, I, I was always uh, wondering uh, what's going to happen. And yes. Yes, Kelvin. I must confess that the depicting skill of Jay Asher is definitely contagious and critical. That I feel like I'm in the situation of clay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and for me, my favorite part of this book is when Hannah talked to Mr. Potter and tell him, uh, want him to help her. But eventually, Mr. Potter became one of the reasons leading to Hannah's, Hannah's death. That's so sarcastic. Because uh, school counselors are supposed to help students in need instead of hurting them. 
Um, and also, from Clay's interior monologue between the lines, I can generally feel the hatred and resentment Clay held towards Mr. Potter. I, I just love how Clay blamed himself for not being able to help Hannah. It just broke my heart. Yeah, you tell the truth. Mr. Potter is definitely not capable to be a counselor. I let Pip and Tom result in such an ending. Oh, I mean Taylor down, lives opposite Hannah, always looked in Hannah's window. He took her room that's supposed to be safe for Hannah, and now it's his turn. All the people in the list will not let him go easily, and all of them will roll to the hell together. What can I say? They are miserable as sin, and Pip and Tom deserve it. Well then, Peeping Tom must be peeing himself. <laughs> uh, such a oh, funny joke. <laughs> okay, well for me, I was thrilled and excited when when Hannah takes revenge on Connie, which means stopping Connie making a boneless and harmless image um, by taking a photo with her. As people had hatred towards Hannah due to her infamous reputation, so if taking picture with um, Connie at the party where she brings Hannah to, it would definitely hurt a Venomous reputation. Mm, maybe it seems quite disgusting to some of you, but I appreciate Hana because she can protect herself and against the rumor. What a strong and defeated lady at that moment. Mm -hmm. And I have also read that we should stand up for ourselves when there are some internal things happen. Then Ada, I can read to what you just said. We read this read, right? Yeah. But it's time for us to discuss the reading making. Mm -hmm. I've got some idea, guys. And why not make the video like a trailer? Yeah, making, a trailer, making a trailer can present a plot of 13 reasons why. On the other hand, the story inside uh, the trailer is believed that can attract an uh, audience to read the novel because their curiosity uh, leads them to read the rest of the story. Agree? Wow, it's such a terrific idea, Harry. It seems that there are lots of benefits in making a trailer. But the question is, how should we actually make it? Uh, wow, well, as the story is as the perspective of Clay, maybe we can do something different. Um, just tell the story by the first person of Hannah. Um, the audience may be easier to understand her feeling. And I also got a question. How can we make Hannah's feeling more powerful and uh, effective? Uh, why not just add a sad song as background music? Since oh. background music is very important and mm -hmm. the essential for conveying the intended message of the trailer to the viewers. Since Mood and music are uh, enhanced feeling there. Mm. So, do you guys have any suggestions for this as well? Um, I have got one. Uh, how about Lavers by Buffalo Tone? Uh, the atmosphere of the song yeah. is very uh, matched with the story oh, built for it. Yes, that's mm. great. I have, <coughs> I've heard of it before. What a perfect song. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it's very, very suitable for the further, for further reasons why because uh, no matter is one is nearest is melody. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's definitely a smart choice. A good background music can affect people's uh, feelings and their emotions. But besides the music, how about the shooting style? Should we add some creative elements into it? Well. I'm as Jane Asher uh, didn't mention, uh, plenty of plots how Hannah committed suicide in the book. Uh, perhaps we could take some short uh, depict how Hannah's end her life. Um, for example, a short showing that uh, a short showing plenty of sleeping pills, uh, or a short, or a short uh, showing one's hands is uh, fully covered with blood and a cutter is uh, placed on it. Um, any idea? That sounds that sounds kind of bloody, doesn't it? Um, I don't think so, Kelvin. Um, it is just um, a few footage. Okay. okay, right, guys. Your ideas and suggestions are excellent, and I like it. Um, but I'd like to say, <laughs> yes, maybe we can invite some drama team members to play the roles, as I believe that um, drama team members they have already been well trained, and their performances are always marvelous and fantastic. So maybe invite them to join yeah. us. Mm, to add her is an important factor to make a video succeed. I think um, inviting drama team members is a marvelous and fabulous idea. However, I think make, maybe we can invite other students to take part in the video. Um, just example, the handsome boy in our class, Kelvin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I feel like I could be one of the characters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Since I'm born to be an actor. <laughs> Are you just kidding? Oh, no, just kidding. Okay. Well, but Kevin, I think you are too funny to act in a sad no film. Way. <laughs> Although you are born to be an actor. <laughs> yeah. But besides the actors and actress, um, slogan is also an important element in making a video. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe something about helping friends who are trapped in their depression or awful situations? Mm, how about using an idiom like a friends in need, uh, like a friends in need as a friends in need? So, oh. as a slogan, because I believe that um, it, it can let people understand that we can, let, we can show our support and our giving hand to, to our friends or the victim um, when they are suffering. Mm -hmm. This sounds pretty good, Ada. Um, this slogan is uh, appropriate and suitable uh, for a school bullying e uh, issue. Um, honestly, um, what of all of us uh, would uh, would all of us uh, want that there would be someone uh, standing by our side when we're in need. So, um, but there are one more question, uh, guys. Uh, we may spoil the reading experience of viewers. How can we avoid that in the video? Mm, maybe we should not include that Hana died at the end of the story. Just keep it secretly. Yeah, um, uh, if we don't mention Hannah's death, how should we supposed to tell the audience the 30 reasons for? Yeah. So I think wow. Hannah's star in the story it must be included in the video. Well, indeed. I think Hannah's death is the main track of the whole story. It connects the post together like a needle. Um, I don't think uh, this will spoil the reading experience of the viewers, so just don't worry about it. Okay. Yes, you nailed it. Moreover, 13 reasons why is combined with 13 reasons, which is independent, which, which is independent from each other. Uh, despite the fact that one of the reasons is mentioned, uh, the, the reading experience of the viewers won't be spoiled. Mm. Um, well, it does make sense, so. Let's end the day, okay, shall we? Yeah, sure, we just, take, okay. Okay. we just take a, a break and then if you have something new, we can discuss later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.